Hey, who, what, where? I'm Phoebe Bridgers, and I'm gonna take you behind the looks. Motion sickness was more of a costume because it's a character. I thought it was funny for like an androgynous person to dress up a lot to go sing karaoke in a dive bar and who only rode a scooter and wore a helmet. I had the concept for that video way before I wrote the song. I mean, not even slightly. I'm going through a lot of the same places as Elliot's Miss Misery video, so it's referencing that too. He wears a white suit. Love Phoebe Waller-Bridge. It was awesome working with her for the music video. We got in an argument about whether or not I was gonna wear a skeleton costume for that video. I ended up going with her instinct and I'm so glad because it looks really cool in black and white. Nobody can tell but that turtleneck that I'm wearing at the end is actually like a bright red turtleneck and I'm usually so allergic to colors. So she was like, dude, it's in black and white. Like it's gonna look black, you're fine. Phoebe and the stylist Aoife, before I got there, had collected all these different costumes. So I picked, we picked our favorite bellhop and then they gave me the woman tag. I was kind of just along for the ride, but it was really fun to be dressed by people you trust. I've always loved blondes in gray. I think it just is such a weird look. I was at St. Vincent de Paul, which is a thrift store here. I found the suit for like 10 bucks, and then I spent like $100 tailoring it. And I feel like that's my, my like new secret with buying clothes is just, it doesn't really matter what it is. If you like it, somebody talented can fit it to your body. So now I have tons of suits that I got for really cheap that I just tailor to me. And we had to do the tiny desk from home, so we had to come up with a concept that was funny or interesting. And I thought the Oval Office was the coolest. We actually tried to get like a real Oval Office because it's Los Angeles, but everything was shut down. Like there were no sets that would allow us in, so we had to green screen. But I knew exactly what I'd wear for that because I feel like I have like a slightly Hillary Clinton vibe in it. My friend Olaf is an insanely talented photographer and musician. He's from Sweden. He came to town and he took me into the desert. He found this cool place like a couple hours away I drove us out it was just for fun like we didn't even know what we'd use them for and then we saw this one photo of the crazy mountains behind me and and rock formations I was wearing like a white dress and I remember thinking I wish there was something kind of more interesting about this I had been a skeleton for Halloween that year with my band and so we repeated the whole photo shoot in the skeleton costume I made us drive out again and yeah and then we saw it and we're like that's definitely the cover. We literally drove there at like four o'clock in the morning, so <laughs> I was pretty delusional. How many skeleton costumes do I have? As far as like different skeleton costumes, I probably have like 10 at this point. Once again, Phoebe Bridgers. <laughs> There's this designer, Amber Doyle, out of New York, and when I was supposed to go on tour at the beginning of the year, of last year, she was gonna make these immaculate suits for everybody. Uh, they weren't even gonna be skeleton suits, they were just gonna be kind of sparkly and matching for the band. When I found out I was playing Saturday Night Live, I was like, we should do some epic skeleton costumes. So she's, she's made a bunch of way more souped up skeleton costumes in their uh, reflective material so that when lights shine on them, they look really cool. And then Gucci made a beautiful gown with ribs on it that I'm very excited about. I'm never taking it off. 